don't play with our emotions There is something over I All we need is an answer An answer
I think what makes this car unique is that it has this unique Italian spirit. It's a car that is easy to use, it's fun to drive, it's an affordable kind of a car. We are in this tradition of the of an Italian car that is made that is meant to be, you know, part of your life and part of a beautiful lifestyle. This car was actually, as we call it, like it's a natural born spider. It's not um, linked to any any coupes or any any it's not a derivative of an existing vehicle. So it's this unique car with beautiful proportions. It has a long front hood, it has white tracks, it has a beautiful dash to axle ratio, a, a tight cabin and a short rear deck. The number one feature if you want to stay with the proportional aspects and the side in, in um, inside you is the simplicity and the elegance of the lines. We have very fluid horizontal lines. And there's a single styling feature actually on the body side. There's a, a line that starts on the front fender, kicks up ever so slightly over the door handle and nicely follows, flows back into the rear end. I'm very happy with the spirit of this car. If I had to pick a favorite angle of the car, I think it would be the front face and the front three-quarter view. I think the face, the look, that concentrated look, that, that friendliness, that eagerness, the sculpture of the hood, the way the, the front fender blends into the volume of the car, I think we can be very proud of this as a team. Something similar happens on the rear end where we reference the vintage spider, the, how the graphical elements relate to